hello friend welcome back to my youtube channel Rahul Limkande and in this video i am going to show you how you can create a simple weather info app or we can say weather info website where you are going to just have to type a city name and you are going to get temperature and what we can say the weather condition of that city okay so basically this is very simple project we had created it in a node.js and uh, uh, with the help of uh, EGS and some uh, CSS HTML JavaScript okay so it is very simple now in this video we are going to uh, show you how we can set up this project on your system and it is very easy, easy to set up you don't have to do much things now okay let's start and uh, let's see what we have to do next so first we are going to download this project so to download this project you have to go to my github uh, profile so my github profile is github.com slash Rahul Nimkande so I will just provide this project link uh, means github profile link of this project in my description so that you can directly click on that link and go to my profile so basically now we are going to download this by pressing that code button and download zip file so after downloading that zip file you you, uh, you have to go and extract that file according to your PC means where you have to uh, extract it you can extract it I will extract my file on desktop so that I can easily show you how you what we have to do next after extracting we are going to open this folder in any uh, code editor so i had open it in vs code so now uh, here in the app.js file we have to change one thing so that we can just run our project so here you have to open app.js and in that you have to search for api so here is api key variable we have to set api key here so to get this weather api key you have to go to weatherapi.com so i will just show you how to go just go to chrome and type weather api so you will get here result weather api so this is openweathermap.org so you have to go there and you can see on the right side uh, here so it is i had a login from my account so you have to first create your own account using your email address and then you have to create there my api key so after that it will just uh, take some time and then uh, after that you will get an api key you can see this is my api key so i am going to copy this and paste in the i will paste this key uh, in my code so now let's paste the api key which we had copied now okay so now our project is ready So now next step is to uh, npm install and then we have to do node.app.js but before that uh, you should have install on your system you should have node.js install if it is not then you have, we have to we have to go and first install node.js because to run these two commands we need node.js as an environment okay so we will go to google and type node.js and we are going to click on download button so okay we will download according to our system so my my system is windows so i am going to download 64 bit windows installer file so now i will click on it okay so when the installation uh, file gets run you have to just click next 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 uh, so it will just install uh, the node.js in your system so i am going not i am not going to install it again because i had on my system so I, I'm not going to install Node, uh, Node.js again but if you don't have you just have to click next next it will just uh, install on your system properly so after installing what we have to do is that we have to go to that folder where we had extracted our project and they and then we are uh, then we, we have to just open windows terminal we have to just right click and open the windows terminal or cmd from that location now here we are going to put two command first npm install and second it is uh, node app.js so the first command will just install some dependencies that are required for our project and then second command will just run our project. So okay we got the message server is running on port 3000. So here we had successfully run our project means here our now website is hosted on server so now we are going to 
uh, you have to open just any browser and just type local host then colon then 3000 so you can see when you press this you are going to get our website online so you can just type uh, here city name you will get the weather info so let's say i am doing it on uh, firefox now i will try here local local host 3000 and yes you can will you will get the same output means our website is now online without any error So guys this is running locally on our system but if you want to run it on online means at on every computer so you have to just upload it on Heroku and your website will be online. So let's say uh, you can go to my github and you can just uh, press there one link will be there uh, to look out for a Heroku upload so you can see here the link is different because it is uploaded uh, it is uploaded online so you can just go and paste this link on any PC it, it, it will open because here the server is online okay but here we are using local 3000 which is server which is local server it is the here the server is our is our laptop so to close this project you can press ctrl c or you can just directly close this windows powershell and when you refresh this page you will see now our project is closed and it is not available on the local 3000 and in case of hosted website you will access from any laptop if you want this tutorial that how to upload node.js website to Heroku, I will create that one also but if you love this video please like the video and also subscribe our channel we are going to bring some awesome content on project um, and you can also get all the project for free so please subscribe I will meet you in another awesome video so guys thanks for watching